staying kingdom minded friends and family we are totally excited to share this amazing video with you we have guests on our show today and you guys are going to love them absolutely love them they are going to give us the answer to whatever ails you stress depression fear and anxiety if you've ever dealt with or are dealing with them now we hope you enjoy this video hi are you guys looking at me like Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm uh, Amanda's semi-nerdy um, cousin, Krista. And, you know, I'm very studious and I stay up on all the latest research. And she's been coming to me and she's looking for the answers to what does she do when she's depressed? So, you know, me and all my infinite wisdom and all my books that I read. See, I have an opinion for her and... I give it to her just like that is because I truly know the answer that she's looking for. Hey, so yeah, I am Amanda's totally brilliant sister, Jessica, and because I went to nursing school and because I have so many doctor friends and because I am like so popular with all of the local hospitals, I've studied all of the medical research and she wants to know about depression. So guess what? I'm going to just tell her. I'm going to tell her what all the research says and what all the statistics say, what all of the medical journals say, and she's really going to find the answer to what she needs to know about dealing with depression because I'm going to tell her just like it is and she is going to learn from the best of the best and the most educated physicians that I can possibly get my hands on. Hi, I'm Amanda's 95-year-old neighbor. My name is Ruth McGee, and I want to share with Amanda all the ways that I know to fight that thing called depression because I lived through the Great Depression and I feel like I have all the answers that she needs so if she would just take my advice I feel like I could help her through that Great Depression in her life today. Hey like I'm Amanda's totally cool hippie friend Jen and like, I just try to tell her to be at peace with her inner self and take all of her herbs and vitamins and supplements and just meditate. And, you know, I've really got all the answers. I really do. I'm totally cool. And if she would just listen to my advice, I know that she wouldn't have to deal with depression for very much longer. You know what I'm saying? Peace. Oh. Gosh, have you guys ever felt like you know so many people who come from so many backgrounds, who have so many wonderful things to offer your world and your advice? But honestly, when you are struggling with something as difficult as depression and you're down and out and you don't know which way to turn, you really just don't know where to go, I would encourage you, you can listen to your friends and family. You can listen to your roots and your gins and, and your Jessicas in your world. There's nothing wrong with having friends in your world to help to lead and guide you but look to the one that is higher than you are go to the rock of your salvation for your answer if you are dealing with depression today I want to read something that is going to encourage you and it's from the book of Psalms it's in the chapter 27 I'm going to start at the first verse and I'm going to read the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life whom shall I be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple, for in the time of trouble you guys, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. 
And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. And 27 verse 7 says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. David in the book of Psalms is showing us when we are fearful, when we are sad, we're depressed, we don't know which way to go. Go to the rock that is higher than I am. He hears you when you call upon his name today. So whether it's a Ruth in your life, an Esther, a Jessica, a Jen, an Amanda, whoever it is that you're allowing to speak into your life today, I would say go to the book go to the book. There are many books. There are many books. And whether you are a little bit of a nerd, whether you are a little bit of a an educated nerd, whether you are a little bit of a hippie and an educated nerd, whether you use peace, love, oil, or chicken grease, whatever it is, whatever you're doing today, go to the rock that is higher than you are. Draw your strength and your encouragement from Jesus Christ. Get in the book today, guys. Get in the book on this Saturday morning. I encourage you, study your Bible. Study, study, study your Bible. Be encouraged today. I love each and every one of my subscribers, the nerdy ones, the hippie ones, the educated ones, every single one of you in between and all the ones that I did not mention, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share this awesome, awesome Jesus Christ filled channel with everyone that you know. Let us be an encouragement to them today. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please take the time to do that. Now I am Amanda here at Staying Kingdom Mind and my husband is Christopher and we have a whole slew of children that we are slowly, slowly adding into our videos and our family that we wanna share with you guys. In the comment section today, on this Saturday, please share with us one thing from your week that has given you encouragement, whether that be a friend, whether that be a coworker, whether that be a silly YouTube video you've watched, whether that be an encouraging sermon that you've heard, whether that be something funny that your child has shared with you this week, Share with us one thing that has brought encouragement to your week. We're praying for you. We love you. We are encouraged by you. Stay kingdom-minded, and we will see you in our next video.